as for how this works, um, the peripheral interface is basically SPI. Um, each of these ports has the SPI pins, MISO, MOSI, and CLOCK broken out to them, um, as well as power and ground. There's an additional pin for peripheral detect that you might just be able to see there are resistors on this prototyping board here that are pulling the peripheral detect signal low and on the control board uh, the orange wire is peripheral detect and the red wire is power so this when the peripheral is plugged in it pulls the peripheral detect pin high um, when the controller on here is pulling each peripheral channel it checks the peripheral detect line first to see if it's high and if it is then it knows there's a peripheral plugged in um, so then it sends an SPI command to that peripheral um, to request commands to execute and then the peripherals respond with uh, lighting commands for the processor to execute. Um, it's able to communicate individually with multiple peripherals uh, without using a lot of peripheral select lines. Um, well, more, more than just that, but uh, these microcontrollers are these 7400 series chips here, they're I think 7400 uh, 74LS240, 240 or 244, they uh, allow the Arduino to connect and disconnect individual peripheral lines, uh, individual peripheral ports, so that uh, while it's talking to, say, this peripheral and communicating with it, if this one is being plugged in and unplugged, which is creating noise on these wires, uh, these chips have been set up to select only this one, so noise on these wires won't interfere with the communication. Um, so this this gives it a fair bit of um, robustness against uh, plugging in and unplugging, um, which is why I'm able to hot plug and not have it interfere with what else is going on while it's doing the hot plugging. Um, the only other thing that's not standard SPI is that there is a um, ready to send pin that the peripherals set high or low to indicate to the master controller, the, the, the main con primary controller, um, when they're ready to send their commands uh, or individual bytes of their commands uh, so that there's not just hard-coded delay loops like I've often seen um, in uh, Arduino uh, SPI communication. The actual protocol that the peripherals in the lamp use to communicate um, doesn't deal with individual LEDs at all. The peripherals tell the lamp to create a light. Uh, they tell it what color the light is by telling it the hue, the saturation, and the brightness of it. Um, and they tell it what angle to be pointing at. So zero might be up here, and 90 over here, 180, 270. So the peripherals tell the lamp to create a light at such and such a position, such and such a color, um, and they tell it this this peripheral gives it three different lights, tells it to create three different lights, and this one this one actually creates 16 lights evenly spaced in a circle. Um, and then the controller in the lamp deals with interleaving, or not interleaving, but combining the colors of the lights and blending them uh, between the LEDs to make it look like they're smoothly transitioning in a circle. Um, so all the smarts are in here and the peripherals just tell it to add to the angle or to set the angle to such and such or to adjust the color or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's how it works.